This project requires cutting a lot of uh, rods uh, into very, very short lengths. And uh, you might be tempted to use a cutoff blade to do that. I um, prefer not to. Um, so, what I did was I made a simple bracket to hold my Dremel tool on the, uh, on the X cross slide. And I'm using um, the, the Dremel cutoff wheels. I'm using the ones with the, with the blue top. They make them uh, heavy duty with a red top and so forth. And I've experimented with them. And for this particular thing, uh, it's, it, it, I find this the best. You are going to burn through a lot of cutoff wheels because we are cutting uh, steel here. What I do to set it up, I've got the um, I've got the X um, servo disconnected so that I can um, just move it by hand, and then I then I bring the rod that I'm cutting right up to the wheel, tighten it down. Because what I want to do is make sure it's flat. And I do run both motors so that any nub that's left would be in the center of the rod instead of on the edge. I'm now going to um, jog the Dremel tool toward the, the rod. You can probably see a few sparks jumping off. That's just to flatten and zero it. Now I'll set my DRO to zero. Back out. And now I Now I advance the, the cutting wheel to the, to the point I want to make the cut, and from this point I just use the, the manual hand wheel to, to make the cut. The only tricky part is the piece is going to fly off and you have to go find it. And uh, and that's it.